Hello, and welcome to another tutorial from VideoEditingSoftware.com. Today we're doing a tutorial on titles in Pinnacle Studio 14 Ultimate Collection HD. So let's get going. First thing that you want to know is there are a few different types of uh, titles that you can create in Pinnacle. If you go to the title room, then you'll see some standard titles. You'll also see some standard motion titles that you can use and these are all pretty self-explanatory all you really need to do is pick one drop it down into the title line by double clicking on it and then double click on it again to go ahead and add your text or whatever you want you can do a lot of things with this so first thing you can do is change your text can always preview it from here and as you can see it has a, the shape and it has the text as the layers so what's important about this is that you have a, a entry motion and an exit motion on both of these you can actually change them if you want to how long they go by dragging these the beginning the end of it so you can make the end come in differently or you can make the beginning come in at a different time and you can do that with the shape or with the words you also have the ability to if you click on the little orange dot it'll delete the entry and you can change it to one that you want you can also make the entry longer or shorter you can do the same thing with the exit. So, one of the other things that you can do with this is you can actually go to, if you go to the motion, you can add emphasis. So, emphasis will do something basically to the text or to the object for the entire um, title. So, if I wanted to add, let's say, jiggle letters and I can double click on it and I can make the letters jiggle if I want to I can go to edit and I can undo add and add so I can always play with the title and do different things to it if I wish to and I can always just take them out if I don't like how it looks so you can also, if you want to, if you can delete the exit. And if I click on exit and I stay on the shape, then I can make the exit different. So let's say I want it to uh, make it come in from behind. You can just double click on it and you'll see how it looks when it exits. Now it's different. So of course, as I stated, I can go ahead and undo that and undo that I moved it off also so now it's back so everything's how you want it to be if I wish to do so I can even say add a video to this so when you drag it onto it's gonna be full screen now there's two things I can do I could either if I want it to be let's say a picture in picture on here I can make it smaller and there you go or if I wanted to I can make it the background by simply clicking on the new video that I added and dragging it up to the top now you see everything else is behind it and it's the bottom layer of everything so now if I hit play the video will play and motion will go on top of it Classic title. So I'll do another full screen motion title. Now, as you can see, I start off with my own text. So I can put whatever I want as my text. Now, I can also choose different 
text here if I wish to do so. I can also go here and choose different fonts. I can choose a different size of the font. Um, I can change where the text is aligned, left, center, right, just justify everything that I've typed in there. I can move it to different positions on the screen or make it flow on and off the screen with all of these different options here. If I wish to do so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick that as my color. And I can also go to settings if I wish to and I can change the colors. So I can make it offset as you can see how the words move to the side if I wish to so axis X and Y can change the size of the background I can change the blur effect here And then I can make it uh, change the opacity, change the fill color to something else if I wish to do so. Also, here you can add more shadows, you can add another edge or a different face. So, you can do a lot of things with those as well. So, now that I have my text here, I want to go ahead and add motion to it. So, I can do whatever I wish to do. So, I can also preview it. So you get a look at how the effect's going to look when you put everything together on your motion title. So we'll go ahead and use that one. So now you see I have this layer here. So now I want to add video and I want to add it to the background. So I will make it move it up the list of my layer list to put it in the background. I also want to add some objects so I can add some things. There's a whole lot of different objects that I can add on here in different categories. So I have miscellaneous, I have signs, I have textures. So I can add many different objects on here. So I'm going to go with the star. What I'm going to do is I want to change the size so I'll make it down to a size that I like and place it where I want it to be on my title so once again I'll add another star and I'll add it where I like and so now that I have the stars on here I can go to motion again and I can choose some different options so you have an enter the emphasis and the exit so start off with the enter so I want to let's say have them enter from infinity so I want them both to do the same thing so I'll click on the start and I'll double click the effect to add it to it now you can see where it has shapes down here that it is went ahead and added it to the entry for both of them so now I want some emphasis on them so I want to see what the rubber band effect looks like it looks pretty nice I like how it comes in and comes out so I'll go ahead and use that one on both of them and so now you'll see that if you look on the shapes line you have the rubber band effect added in the middle and it actually goes all the way through but I want to add a different exit so I want to do the pinwheel because I like how that looks so I've added the effects to how I want them so you get a preview of how the stars will look coming in and leaving the scene. So now I want to, I see that my words hello only have a exit. So I'm going to go ahead and add an entry to the word hello. And we can make it something simple like typing or we can have it coming from infinity so we also have the movie trailer 
which is about the same as that uh, coming in from infinity now words from behind looks pretty nice because it brings them in and then as you see in my exit they're gonna go back out so I like the way that that comes together so that's what I'm gonna stay with but I also want to add some emphasis to to them and I like the movie trailer complete looks pretty nice so now I'm done with that so as you can see now you got a pretty nice little um, title that is put together the way that you want just remember you can add pictures you can add objects you can change the text so don't forget to use the settings tab to make some changes to those um, emotions button here to add different motions don't forget you also have all the options for the bold italics and underline text alignment text flow if you wanted to flow a specific way besides the um, using the motion there you can change the size of your font and you can change the duration of your title also don't forget you can drag these entry the exit and you can also drag the middle scene to make them however long you want them to be um, you can also delete any of them by clicking on the little X that's on there and you can also move your items in the layer list to put them where you'd like them to be and one last thing you can add different backgrounds uh, background colors or remove them also if you wish to do so pretty simple to do so now you have your motion title set up so remember there are the presets that you have you can edit all the presets just the same way that I edited and made my own motion title. So let your imagination run wild. Do the things that you want to do and make your titles um, come to life. Make them do what you want them to do because it's, it's your project. So don't ever sell yourself short. But also remember, try not to do too much to the titles. In this um, tutorial, I've done a lot with them just to give you an idea of what you can do. But in most cases, you don't want to put too much into your titles because they become kind of distracting or just too much going on at one time. So now you know how to make motion titles in Pinnacle Studio 14 Ultimate Collection HD. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.